Hi, Scott from iFixit here, and today I am joined by Dr. Bill Cardoso from Creative Electron. Thank you for joining us, Bill. Thanks, man. Yeah. Some quick context. If you don't remember, Creative Electron is responsible for providing all of those cool x-ray images we have on our teardown. Yeah, I mean, it's been great uh, partnering with iFixit for the past few years, and uh, you know, much like iFixit, our goal is to bring high tech, very interesting tech to the masses. I think one of the cool things that I've, you know, I've gotten to work with you guys on is, is the Taptic engine in the iPhone 7. And I remember we pulled out that Taptic engine yeah. and you guys were able to actually take x-rays and show us the linear oscillator moving. Yeah, it was really amazing that uh, we could actually get some real time x-rays because all we do is uh, real time. And uh, we were able to see the uh, device actually work. And that, that was really exciting. Yeah, and like, like the Taptic engine, we also had the Apple Watch, which was so hard to get into. And then once we did get into it, one of the coolest things, that S1 chip was completely encapsulated in a silica aluminum resin. And yeah. you guys came along and saved the day. Yeah, that's incredible because that uh, the, the amount of electronics that was packaged in such a small space uh, really required that level of packaging. So without an X-ray, you really can see you know what's inside unless you completely destroy the package. So today, Bill, you actually brought us some scans of the Apple AirPods. Yeah, so this is uh, a scan that we, uh, we're taking in one of, uh, in one of our machines you know, the, the, it's called the Fusion, TrueView Fusion CT. And uh, this uh, acquisition was taken using 900 images of the same object. So as we rotate this 360 degrees, we took 900 images at each little step. And then we take all those images and we crunch them to create this uh, beautiful uh, volumetric images. I know you are uh, you know, an expert in teardowns, so you wanna tell people what they're looking at here? Uh, I want to ask you what we're looking at because I have a ton of questions. Uh, for, for example, we see a color gradient. Can you talk to, to that a little bit? Yeah, so the color gradient is something we add and we have different color gradients that are available and uh, it basically paints uh, different densities. So in this uh, color gradient we're looking at, uh, it goes from uh, less dense to more dense. So the red is the denser uh, materials in this uh, analysis. And uh, we can see here uh, the microphone that uh, the AirPod has. So you can see that little dot is an opening for uh, the microphone. And that's the microphone that's, uh, you know, that uh, captures your voice and also the background noise. The huge battery, as you mentioned before, well, it's not as, you know, it's not that huge. Right, right, <laughs> you know? everything in context, but that looks, but... It looks huge there. And you have the two, uh, contacts uh, for charging, which is right here. And you can see the little uh, wire, the little flex that connects the, uh, that, uh, the, the contact to the battery. And this is one of the areas where you can start looking at, you see how that is barely touching the, that end of the battery. Right. So if for any reason that little spring would, uh, was not connecting, you know, it would, we wouldn't be able to charge the battery and there's the AirPod would be dead. So this is one of the defects that we can find with a CT that would be very hard to find with a, um, uh, a standard 2D uh, X-ray. So uh, uh, going here on the, uh, the rest of the AirPod, we have, uh, we have the big speaker there. That's that guy over there. And you have, you know, the, the layers of uh, electronics that you guys noted in your teardown, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, you know, including the battery management, uh, the sound amplification, and then the uh, Bluetooth interface. And, uh, you know, include the antenna right there. You can see clearly uh, all the antenna. I see, yeah, so we can see all these board level components and almost make out individual, I mean, we can make out individual components. Correct. Are you able to do diagnostics like electronics? Could you check solder mounds and? Absolutely. Okay. So yeah, so that's that's what we're doing right now. Uh, if you get uh, the, the layer right, you can actually um, uh, slice those ball grid arrays, for example, and look for defects in uh, the connection between the ball grid array, which the BGA, mm -hmm. most of those components are, um, uh, ball grid arrays. So you can actually slice and find a defect. A common one in the industry nowadays is what we call heading pillow. So a heading pillow, or AJP, is when the ball touches the pad on the board, but the ball itself doesn't collapse. And what happens is that sometimes you have connectivity, sometimes you don't. And that's what we call, you know, heading pillow. So that's something that uh, 2D X-ray cannot find or it's very challenging to find, mm -hmm. but with tomography you can, because now it's a slicing, 
uh, that uh, the, the volume and then you can find that interface if it's done correctly or not. That kind of brings to memory touch disease, which was found in certain iPhones, and they were thinking that that, that issue was related to bulgur arrays. Would this technology allow you to identify if there was a faulty solder joint? Absolutely. So here you can see an example where uh, by reconstructing that uh, three-dimension volume on each one of those balls, you can clearly see if uh, a ball is correctly attaching the component to the board or not. So fortunately, in the case of the AirPod, all, this, all these joints look okay. But if they weren't, we'd be able to see uh, the separation between the uh, component and the board, uh, which was uh, one of the problems for uh, touch disease. Well, Bill, thank you for being here and bringing this awesome tech with you. I really look forward to seeing it on future teardowns. It was great spending time with you, man. Thanks.